All right, so right here we got the Evo Start Recording Bundle. If you're a podcaster, a streamer, a gamer, a musician, then this is something that you may wanna look at if you're just starting out. It comes with pretty much everything that you need to start recording and start content creating. I've been a huge fan of the Evo line interfaces. I've been personally using it since last year. It's one of my favorite interfaces of 2020. It can do so much from the hardware to the software. So without any further ado, let's open this up and uh, put everything together. All right, so right here is the Evo Audient SR1 microphone. It is a super cardioid pattern, so which means it's gonna pick up pretty much mostly everything that is in front of the mic and block off all the sides. And with the microphone, you need something to hold it up, so you get the shock mount over here. It is pretty, it looks like it's a pretty sturdy mount. It looks like it's not one of those cheap sort of universal ones. It looks like it's custom built for this mic alone. And it uh, looks pretty hefty, but we will put that together just like that. Next up with that microphone, you will need to connect it to your interface and it comes with a XLR cable. Let's just see how long this one is here. So it looks like it's about six feet in length approximately. Next up, you got your headphones over here. They are closed back with a frequency response of 15 Hertz to 22 kilohertz. And the cable length is three meters with the tip being interchangeable from a quarter inch to a 3.5 millimeter connection. And last up is the star of the show, the interface itself, Audience Evo 4. It's a two in, two out interface. And again, I've been using this since last March and I, I really am a huge fan of this. I'm actually using one of these right now connected to my iPad Pro to record the audio for this video. And it is USB bus powered, so all you need is the USB-C cable, which is included in this kit as well. So everything you need literally to start recording, to start podcasting, to start streaming, is literally in this kit right here, all for $249. And that's a really good deal considering everything that you are getting. But let's go ahead, get everything connected here and see how everything sounds and performs. All right, so now that we got everything set up, I'm gonna go ahead and switch the audio over to this microphone over here so we see how it sounds. On the interface itself, it has this right over here, this big green button, which is Smart Gain. It allows you to set the input levels for your instrument or microphone automatically. Um, I don't use it myself just because if you do use that and you want to set your levels for you, you really have to perform as though you would while you are recording. But uh, I've been using this for so long, so I just know exactly what step I want my input to be. All right, let's just use this uh, paper that came with it. So let's go ahead, hit record. To connect your Evo 4 to your computer, simply plug in the USB cable provided. Once successfully connected, Evil 4's volume wheel LED will illuminate and perform a short animation followed by the volume button illuminating. So that's how this microphone sounds. Let's put it up against something that is a little bit more expensive than actually this entire kit. All right, so now we got both mics set up. So we got the blue microphone over here, the Evo microphone over here, and let's do a test between the two of them. To connect your Evo 4 to your computer, simply plug in the USB cable provided. Once successfully connected, Evil 4's volume wheel LED will illuminate and perform a short animation followed by the volume button illuminating. Let's do another AB with a different reading. The Smart Gain LED will start flashing red and the volume wheel LEDs will illuminate, indicating the Smart Gain mode is now listening. All right, so let me know what you think, which one sounds better. The blue microphone, once again, is worth more than this entire kit, but uh, I think this is sounding pretty good on its own. Next, let's go ahead and test out the headphones. just died over there but while I was waiting for the camera to charge back up I was listening to these headphones and really thinking about how they sound and they remind me very close to the Audio-Technica M50s uh, the look of it also is very reminiscent of those headphones uh, they sound really really good a lot better than than I initially thought the bass is really nice the highs are really nice and crisp and clean not too harsh 
and it's pretty flat response for the most part. I think it's a little bit colored on the low end and on the mids, but you know what? I think these are really useful for mixing. Uh, I will have to put these through more of a test and actually put them to use with mixes, and I'll let you know in a future video. But I think I'm just gonna continue the rest of the video using this microphone here instead of my overhead mic. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this here. All right, so now we are using this microphone over here. How does it sound? I think it sounds pretty good. I listened back to the test that I did before, comparing it to the blue microphone. Um, the shock mount, I wish it was a little bit smaller so it doesn't take up so much space. I mean, on camera, it looks okay, but it's a little bit big in person, but it's nice. It's nice that they didn't use a universal mount for this microphone. It's custom built for this one, and it's pretty solid. Uh, it does not come with a stand, so if you do want to do a desktop setup, or like a boom setup like this, you're gonna have to buy it additionally. Uh, but other than that, I think this is a really good product for podcasters, for creators, for musicians, and for streamers. And the reason why I say for podcasters and streamers is because the software that comes with the Evo 4 interface is very, very good. They have a feature called the loopback feature, and that allows you to record any audio that's happening on your computer very very easily everything is recorded right on the computer you don't have to do any routing on the outside everything is done internally and it's low latency so i actually use that feature for myself when i record my videos uh, a lot of times if you're using uh, screen recording software there's a slight latency so it makes it hard if you're trying to do music making videos but uh, using that loopback feature it's instant there's no latency and uh, it's very workable when you are trying to create stuff that you need to be sort of on time so if you're hitting a pad or drums or anything you need it to be playing back at the correct speed and not a delay and the loopback feature works really really well if you want to watch my video on the evo 8 interface it talks about more and goes in depth about the software itself so if you want to learn more about that i'll put the link down below and you can learn what the software side of things here means to you as a creator podcaster musician streamer whatever you want to do this kit can definitely do it all it gets you up and going for 249 dollars I'm literally a huge fan of this setup. I wish something like this existed when I first started out. The quality that you're getting here for the price is just doesn't compare to when I first started out. If you are interested to learn more about the Start Recording Bundle, I'll place a link in the description box below this video. If you have any questions on any of these pieces, let's talk down below, happy to chat. I'm gonna go ahead and put this through more tests, the microphone and the headphones. Uh, this may replace my blue, just cause I like the way it looks for the on-camera setup, but we'll see what I'll do. Uh, interface, really, really good. Microphone, headphone, Evil Star Recording Bundle, link down below if you wanna learn more about it. That's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all very soon in the next video. Later.